what is up and what is good youtube welcome back to the channel our next stop in h-town is the retro exchange that's the place where i went to that toy warehouse we are back there's some few changes that he's made to the store i think he made like a storefront at the entrance of the building so we're excited to check that out and definitely excited to check out the warehouse hopefully uh, come on with some cool toys are uh, you ready for this it's a cold brisk morning in houston's in the 30s uh, so we're ready to go inside and do some toy hunting man if you're new to the channel welcome hit the subscribe button to keep up with future videos also look me up on instagram give me a follow there to see what i'm doing in between videos uh, so let's get this toy hunt started <laughs> Let's get a closer look at these shelves, everyone. Lots of toys to see at this store. As you can see here, we got a rare Link Soul from the Thundercats. Definitely a piece I need to pick up from my collection one of these days. Here we have some visionaries. I love these things. They got that hologram chest plate. Uh, I remember having some of these when I was a kid. And I'm definitely interested in hopping back into this toy line one of these days. Always cool to see visionaries. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, as well as some vintage strawberry shortcake. Lots of them too. So nice selection of strawberry shortcake. We got some more uh, Mega Zords there from Power Rangers. Let's check out the top shelf. There's a Speed Racer, Mach 1 car, and then Dino riders i mean just look at that display guys that t-rex is amazing with all that armor i mean all, all these figures are great this is a toy line i wish i would have got into years ago when it was a little bit more affordable but down riders definitely uh, some rare ones to find rock lords another cool weird line from the 80s i sold off my whole rock lord collection about a year ago I don't know if that was the right thing to do, but it's done, it's done. But always cool to see Rock Lords. Here's some more humanoids. And then the giants right here. We got Metlar and Decompose. I mean, these are the two I don't have in my collection. I do have the green one, Tendril. Now we got these drawers here. Uh, it's a pretty cool little touch. We got these on this side, they're full of video games. You got Super Nintendo. Nintendo original NES you saw some 64 games there as well but very cool concept here Got the pull-out shelves you got some GI Joes I mean definitely cool when you have so many figures not enough shelf or wall space you got some retro exchange merchandise there some t-shirts some toy biz, always gotta have some toy biz. Secret Wars there as well. Got a Doc Ock and a Spider-Man. So everything's laid out pretty, pretty neat at the store. You got the Marvel section, you got the 80s section, so it's really cool. You got some cartoons there playing. Brave Star, Marshall Brave Star, one of my favorites as a kid. You got some uh, consoles, video game consoles here. A sealed Sega Genesis. And then we got a loose one, and very cool how they had it set up. Here we have some ET, amazing movie, one of my favorite movies ever. Love this movie. Always makes me cry, guys. Always, come on, admit it. You know it makes you cry as well. Gotta love it. Some very cool lunch boxes here. Tin ones are always uh, awesome to see. Carded real Ghostbusters and then some random Motu stuff. Here's a uh, Ghostbusters Firehouse. It's a little rough shape, but it's there, you know. Always good to have, better have it than not to have it. But some cool Ghostbusters items here. We got vintage and uh, new ones as well. We saw the Afterlife 2 pack up there on the top. Shogun Warriors, all oh, these things are so awesome. I have the Godzilla, but these 
robots up here are the ones I definitely want to add to the collection. Those things are just so amazing. Here we got some street sharks thrown in with some turtles. We got a Super 7 Mutagen Man there. And the movie NECA Turtles right here. And it seems like I keep running into these Universal Monster figures right here. These are the four that I found in that offer up toy lot a few months ago. And I just keep running into them. There's a Technodrome, no eyeball, but you can always pick that up somewhere else. And then you got the giant Commander Voltron in the box. That thing is amazing. So like the other side of the store, this drawer also has action figures in here. Here's a Shogun Leo with the chromed out armor. Very cool. I got Jorge the owner showing me one of the miniature guitars they have for sale there. Since I do play guitar, you know, I'd be kind of interested in those. Those are cool. And then just more turtles in here. Let's check it out, guys. It was fun pulling out these shelves. I didn't know what was in there. So it was awesome just seeing uh, the stuff that was inside the shelves. Like right here, here we have Ghostbusters. Very cool to see those. We've got a whole mix of uh, different series. You even got the original Winston there. More Ghostbusters. So this section of the store right here, uh, it's kind of like a place where they're going to keep changing around. Like this one, uh, I believe they called it Crime Alley. Zach, one of the, the employees of the store, the manager, I believe, uh, he is responsible for this setup right here, which is very cool. And I guess it's going to keep rotating every time a big movie hits. So put out toys for that, you know, big movie put on display but you can see here lots of stuff to look at guys lots of stuff here battle beast always a favorite of mine had tons of these when i was a kid always cool picking these things up and you got some japanese stuff right there and transformers you got those little small Bumblebee ones and the other Transformers. Always cool to see those. And got some Japanese ones. And Jetfire in the box. Awesome to see that one. Very cool design. It's, of course, he's famous for being a uh, part of Robotech. We got some Beast Wars. Like I said, lots to look at here on these shelves, everyone. I even got some karate kit figures there by Remco thrown in. And we're going to check out some of the stuff that's here on the shelf. It's uh, very cool the way it's displayed. Almost looks like somebody's collection room. But of course, everything is for sale, including this Eternia. Crystal Castle there in Grayskull. Oh, it's cool to see Eternia in person. There you have that T-Rex from Master of the Universe, another rare piece from the Powers of Grayskull line. Cool. Lots of play sets here. It is your the play sets guys, so always cool to see play sets. And yes, there are more play sets uh, pickups coming to the channel, to the collection. So stay tuned for those videos. We got some good ones coming up. So it's awesome to see these Ewoks cartoon figures on card. The Max Rebo band. Too crazy. Very cool power sword from the new adventures of He-Man. If you've never seen New Adventures of He-Man, definitely check it out. 
it was out in the early 90s and it's he-man in space so they kind of mixed in some uh, star wars type of stuff there with the swords and everything and he-man being in space yeah so this place right here where the statue of liberty is by hot wheels very cool i don't collect hot wheels but my son does so i might use that an excuse to pick that up one of these days because this thing looks awesome and the cars for this place are right here i looked it up and you see there's some cars there uh kind of reminds me of mad max or if you guys remember that game twisted metal on playstation where you got those cars battling each other it's kind of like that that's the kind of cars that go with that playset and it is done by hot wheels some Voltron Skull tank there, a lion bot, and then the Castle of Lions in the box up there, as well as some headquarters from G.I. Joe. So man, I was going nuts seeing all these play sets. Uh, even the G.I. Joe stuff, I don't collect, but man, it was awesome to see those big old boxes there. Lots of cool stuff. Uh, Jorge the owner makes these marquees here with flashing lights and everything it's, uh, so cool so lots of Jejo vehicles here on these bottom shelves and more Star Wars some Halo stuff thrown in there as well Supernatural is another uh, toy line with the holograms in the chest and then some Simpsons there Carter Gobot we got some Kenner Batman all right everyone we are now in the back of the store in the warehouse part of course you saw you saw my previous video it was all the warehouse uh, this place is insane as you can see here lots of accessories uh, this is where you go if you want to build an action figure from the ground up you get the body you get the accessories weapons whatever you want they have it here or if you're missing accessories for your figure you want to complete a figure this is a spot to go retro exchange they got lots of stuff here to complete your incomplete figures and also like i said if you want to just build one from the ground up man this is the spot you can pick out your whatever accessory or body of a figure you think you think looks the best but definitely lots lots of uh cool amazing toys here in the back got vintage star wars is no speeder just random stuff you'd be finding back here when just when you're digging here's a bag of star wars vintage star wars you got some r2s there and lando here's another bunch of star wars toys a rancor keeper in there as well there's an R2DKs that my girlfriend picked up from Fat Collectibles a few videos ago. Loose. And then just a whole bunch of parts there. You got the Ewok Village just chilling up there. Here's the turtle section. As you can see here, everything's very well organized in their little bins. You got an android body crane just sitting up there. Here's a cool little water bottle from the Burger King Kids Club. Oh, this walkabout little miniature figure there. I need that one. And then my girlfriend uh, called me over because she found this very cool vintage Ninja Turtle bowling set this thing is awesome it's huge this box was pretty big very cool to see never seen this before i've seen the hockey set 
which is always cool to see, but this is the first time seeing that little bowling alley. Thundercats. Here on top we're gonna have a Mumra's tomb in the box. Very cool. 3030 from Brave Star hanging out up there at the very top. An awesome toy line. Got more Transformers. Some more NECA movie turtles. I'm gonna see what's here on the top shelf. You can see there there's another Android body hanging out up there on the top. Definitely lots to look at back here in the warehouse. Uh, we were literally there. We were there a few hours. Uh, you know, just chilling, hanging out, talking toys. Rummaging through all these little bins here. Trying to see what we could find. It's a, it's a treasure hunt back here, guys. It's a vintage toy treasure hunt here at the Retro Exchange Warehouse. Uh, it's awesome. It's fun. I love doing this kind of stuff. And I'm glad uh, you guys can join me. If you can't be here, I'm glad you can join me through these videos. There's an awesome Hulk Hogan pin. And here's a place that I'm going to put on my list. It's I already put it on there, guys. It's the Muppet Baby's Castle. I've never seen this before. I immediately uh, went crazy for it. It's definitely gonna be on my list. I'm a huge Muppets fan, as well as uh, as a Muppet Babies fan. I used to love watching the cartoon. And we're gonna end it here with this Bone Troller from Filmation Ghostbusters. Awesome playset, very rare. You don't see it too often. All right, guys, we are out of the Retro Exchange. It was fun hanging out with Jorge and Zach of the Retro Exchange. Awesome. We had a great uh, time here, talking toys, toy hunting. Uh, we're staying outside. The, store right here he's drawing uh he's getting an artist to do a castle grayskull so he's going to paint the whole outside of the building with murals of you know pop culture 80s characters darth vader and skeletor things like that for photo ops you know for when people come visit the store but we picked up a whole bunch of stuff today at the retro exchange both of us did uh so stay tuned for the pickups part when we get back home in san diego so hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, give retro exchange a follow on instagram and facebook check them out guys Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that tour of the Retro Exchange in Houston, Texas. Uh, awesome store. I love what they did with the front of the store. They turned it into like a storefront. So now you can go in and it's like a cool store. And then, of course, it's always awesome uh, getting to go to the back, which is the warehouse, the VIP warehouse. Uh, it's awesome going back there and just digging and hunting through the shelves. You never know what you're going to find over there. Uh, but... And I also want to say thanks to Jorge, the owner of the Retro Exchange, for having my girlfriend and I there. Uh, we were there early in the morning. It was like 9 a.m. Uh, it was cool hanging out, uh, talking toys, and chilling, man. It, it was awesome. We were there for quite a bit of time, a few hours. Uh, uh, but it was fun nonetheless. And I uh, got this awesome Retro Exchange shirt. Very cool. Thanks a lot for that. I uh, got to rep the Retro Exchange, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but it was fun uh, meeting Zach, the manager of the store. Uh, it was cool meeting him. Awesome dude. Very knowledgeable on toys and science fiction and a whole bunch of other stuff, man. He, he knows a lot of stuff, a lot of stats, a lot of info. Uh, so it was cool meeting him. And like I said, it's always fun going back to the Retro Exchange, uh, hanging out with those guys. Uh, but now to the pickups part, guys. And I believe my girlfriend actually has me beat on the pickups today in this video uh, i'm gonna show you guys my pickup first let me look from uh first off i want to show you guys is this ecto 2 car from the ghostbusters this is awesome i don't know if this was like a promo or it was sold uh what does it say on the bottom it just says columbia pictures 1989 uh so yeah if any you know any info on this let me know yeah so i don't know if this was sold uh by itself 
or it was a promo for the movie, but it's awesome. It's an awesome little vehicle. Very cool to have this. I love Ghostbusters 2. I know it's not part one, but I love it. I actually went to go see that movie in the theaters. My dad took me uh, when I was a kid. So I have great memories of checking out uh, Ghostbusters 2 in the theaters. So that's my pickup right there. And I also picked up some accessories here. Because, you know, when you go to the warehouse, you got to, you know, dig through the accessories and complete some of your figures. So first up, I got these uh, weapons for PandaCon from the Ninja Turtles. So now I got his weapons, which is cool. And actually, I think I picked up PandaCon uh, the last time I was at Red Exchange. Uh, and I didn't get any weapons for him. And then I got Stronghold from the Silverhawks. Uh, he's the bird for uh, Steel Wheel. I already have Stronghold, but I broke one of his legs. Uh, I was sending him up in the display, in the detoff, the glass case. And when I was trying to snap the bird to his hand, I dropped him and he fell to the floor. And he broke one of his... Uh, feet right here if you want to call them one of these foot pegs so now i got a brand new one to display and then uh so now i have an extra stronghold i don't know i guess i'll hold on to it maybe sell it if some maybe somebody wants to buy it like that with a broken foot it still displays good but you know i have to have a, a clean one and then the other accessory i got was for ninja turtles this is the little guy that comes with walkabout I believe his name is Kid Kango or Kangi, Kid Kangi. Does anyone uh, know? So that's cool to get him. Now I need a uh, walkabout weapons, which he actually didn't have the weapons there. And then I got one more item here. It's a Ninja Turtle figure. I got a uh, Sergeant Bananas. I was able to complete this guy digging through, uh, you know, the bins in the warehouse. I was able to go through there and find all the accessories he's a very cool figure right here this guy looks awesome so here we go yeah so got him with the belt complete he's in very great condition i got got his gun awesome gun he has like a iguana on top of it which is cool and he got some bananas there on the front and this little guy i don't do not know his name. I don't remember his name. He's the little, the little monkey that comes with him, packed in the package. So very cool, Sergeant Bananas, awesome. Uh, Super Seven is gonna come out with uh, their own version. I don't think it's Sergeant Bananas. They call him Gorilla, Gorilla, but it says Gorilla here on his name tag. So who knows if it's supposed to be the same character? Then they changed them up. So, but very cool. Glad to have this guy to the collection. I've been wanting Sergeant Bananas for a long time. And before I forget, I also picked up this WWF Collector's Pin Series Hulk Hogan that you saw in the video. So awesome. Look at the animal print on the card. So these are the other pins in the series. Collect all six. So this is awesome. This is going to stay in the card. I am a Hogan fan. Uh, it's probably my favorite wrestler of all time. There's a little button right there. And then I do have uh, his autograph way up there which is dope the hoaxer all right guys so now we're gonna get into my girlfriend's pickups first up we're gonna show you these uh, care bears she picked up these two little care bears uh for her collection uh when we went to super happy incredible toys she picked up the Care Bears vehicle, the little cloud car with the rainbow on it. So now she's picking these up. These are the articulated Care Bears right here, and I think she picked up a whole bunch of the little ones. I don't know what she did, what she did with those, but these are the the cool little action figure ones with the articulation. So that's her pickups, and then she did pick up all that uh, ET stuff that you saw in the video. So this one right here is made by NECA so I don't know if this is based off a vintage toy or is a whole new creation but this is the ET spaceship launcher uh, it's made by NECA that's cool though this little spaceship is all chromed out in back metal which is awesome and you got a little ET right there 
So you put him inside and then he shoots out, which is cool. So I don't know if she's gonna open this or not, but it looks awesome in the little display piece. So she picked that up and then she picked this ET up right here. So he's pretty cool. His head kind of pops up, you see here. It's hard to see at that angle, but it has the little lever and his head goes up and down. So he's cool. His arms move out like that. He has pretty good articulation, actually. Uh, I believe he, he came with a speaking spell. They couldn't find it there at the store. But they're going to look for it. And if they find it, uh, they're going to hold it for us for the next time we go there. Um, so yeah, he had it's a little speaking spell accessory comes with it because of the you know in the movie. Uh, so that's that ET, and then she picked up all those other little miniature ETs that were on card. Like I said, she picked up all of them. So here she got all these. First, so we have this ET right here when he's dressed up in that pink dress and wig. So here's that other pickup that we got with the speak and spell. And there's a wind up one. So it doesn't even show the other figures from this collection right here. They look to be like little PVC figures. Of course, this costume here is famous because uh, in Stranger Things, if you watch Stranger Things, Eleven dresses up like this uh, to disguise herself. And made by LJN. Uh, and then the other one, we got this. E.T. with a scarf and a phone. Very cool. Like I said, the card back is the same as the other one. And then we got this E.T. with the blanket. And he has the speak and spell right there. And then another one with the phone and scarf. So, yeah. She got all, all the E.T. stuff he had. Okay, so that was a close look at her little ET pickups here. So very cool figures. Um, I think she's going to leave them in the card. I'm not sure. But they look cool in the card, so why would she take them out, right? Yeah, she don't, she don't listen to me. She's not me. I don't. She doesn't open stuff like that. But I don't open everything. Only if it's like some cheap 90s stuff. I don't touch the vintage stuff. Okay, and then for the last pickups... Like once again, like I said, this is her pickups. Um, she showed me these figures and she asked if I knew about them because um, she kind of remembered them when she was a kid. And I told her, Oh, yeah, I used to have a whole bunch of those when I was a kid. And I don't know what happened to them. my mom, gave them away to cousins. And I just haven't picked them up for some reason, even though they were, they were a favorite of mine when I was a kid. And these are just some awesome figures. So they are the. Foo Fighters. And she picked up a whole bunch of them. Uh, complete with the guns and stuff. The guns are so tiny. They're easy to lose. And I don't know. I don't know this guy's name. The hot dog guy. But it's funny that they have uh, these weapons. And then the backpacks too. So she picked this guy up. And then she picked up these other ones here as well. So I know this guy, is, his name is Fat Frenchie. Uh, I don't remember all these guys' names, but see he comes with, has his backpack and his little gun there in his hand. Uh, so I haven't opened this one. So we're trying to figure out where to display them. See if we can make some room somewhere before we take them all out of the packages. She got the hamburger guy. Again, I don't remember these guys' names besides the French fry guy. And we got the pizza guy. He reminds me of Pizza the Hut from Spaceballs. Remember that movie, guys? Spaceballs. And, this gun. and he comes with a, like a machine gun, which is pretty dope. So, these figures are all like they're squishy, but these these are so cool. Food Fighters. It's just a crazy line uh, made by Mattel. Here's a little machine gun that he comes with in the backpack. But these are cool. These are from, from 1988. Man, it's a long time ago. I was eight years old when these came out. So these are cool. These are her pickups. Uh, so I guess we're going to start collecting Foo Fighters because I'm going to have to add to that collection, right, guys? 
and uh, I know they have some vehicles. They didn't make any play sets, but they have some vehicles for the Foo Fighters. They got that Ed Carden uh, thing, and then they have like the barbecue pit. I don't even know what that thing is, and a helicopter too, I believe. Uh, but it, Foo Fighters is an awesome toy line. Uh, you haven't uh, seen any Foo Fighters? Definitely check them out. They're they're very cool. Uh, they're definitely pricey now. They used to be dirt cheap. I remember years ago, you could get them on card for like $10, $15, and just never did, uh, right? Uh, that was with all the toys all going up. Uh, but those are the pickups, guys. Uh, let me know what you thought of the retro exchange. Let me know who won this pickup battle. I did or my girlfriend? I think I think I kind of like her pickups more, right? The Foo Fighters, yeah, some E.T. Uh, just leave some comments down below. Let me, know, go, let me know what you guys thought, what you would have picked up from the store. You saw anything there that you liked is on your list to pick up. And uh, yeah, and hit the like button as well. And if this was your first time watching, uh, hit the subscribe button to keep up with future videos. Uh, hitting those likes and subscriptions, that all helps the channel spread and be seen by more people. Especially likes, all that helps. Likes and views, that helps more than anything. And it goes in the YouTube algorithm so more people can see it when they're searching for toy hunting videos on youtube uh thanks again everybody uh leave comments down below i get back to each and every one of you all because i appreciate you guys watching the channel and supporting me in this awesome toy hunting adventure i'm glad you guys can come along with me not all of you guys can go to these stores or live near stores like the retro exchange uh, so it's cool that you guys enjoy them and you know toy hunt with me so thanks again everybody for watching stay tuned for more tons and videos to come and also we got the summertime coming man there's gonna be some conventions there's they're coming back they're coming back so we're gonna be definitely hitting up a few conventions as well uh so thanks again for watching good luck on everybody's toy hunts out there and i'll catch you on the next one i am socal shalin i am out